I have always had a passion to be a pilot since I can remember my first thoughts. I was surrounded by airplanes since I was a baby and I grew up with airplanes in an aviation family. Passion is the perfect word to describe it. I sometimes wonder how in the world did our parents let us do this? <laughs> a lot of my friends that fly these were all around the same age group. A lot of us grew up with our dads doing this and we all became pilots as well and are flying those airplanes. It's not an obsession, but the passion's always been there. I was a kid who, instead of thinking the greatest moment of my life might be game seven in the World Series, ninth inning, bases loaded, and of course knock it out of the park to win the series. My version of that was always coming down the chute, racing at Reno. From the first time I saw an air race, that was my dream moment. I was fortunate to accomplish that in 2009, and the passion for aviation, it just seems to grow. It gets stronger, gets more real. It evolved into something else. It's where I am the most serious at any given time in my life, every time. All the kind of jokes go out the window and you focus on your environment. There's something incredibly rewarding about having that total focus and achieving that. It's an incredible feeling to light up an engine that's belching some smoke out and whirling a big ham standard propeller out there. When the airplane comes alive, it's an incredible feeling. You get into that careful eagerness of wanting to go out and use all your faculties to do everything correctly, especially when you've got to stay focused on everything and go horribly wrong at any moment and be ready for that. So you can't ever get too smiling, having too much fun and giggles, because it all could turn. I can tell you that I have over 11 people still on my cell phone that aren't with us anymore. I do fear getting killed in a plane crash. Chances are it means I just did something stupid, or I did something wrong. It's a constant, it's there, but it's not something you can focus on, dwell on, you just, that's the whole point of preparation. That's the point of proper maintenance. That's the whole point of being responsible when operating these airplanes. And that is being able to put it all together and be safe. It's really no better compliment. There's a lot of really, really good pilots out there and there's a lot of talent for sure. But I think every one of us feels one of the greatest accomplishments when, when somebody you admire or respect shows that same gratitude for your ability to be safe. I've spent a lot of hours burning right through midnight alone at the airport trying to get things done. The maintenance side of it, it's really it's just ongoing. It's figuring out all the little bells and whistles and gizmos and how they operate. Hands-on has been very rewarding. And for me, it's always been the time when I do the most soul searching. There's times when it's lonely. There's times when you're burned out. There's times when you're frustrated. There's times where it's just, just fun to work on them with your friends. There's times when it's just peaceful and relaxing. Things sometimes take as long as they take to do it properly. And that in itself has its own sacrifices with spending time with your family 
or not being able to. A lot of times the rewards are what you reach yourself. People aren't there to see this. And they don't see all the work and preparation and hours spent and the bloody knuckles and the safety wire stab that we all know so well. It's a, it's a pretty incredible environment to be in. I have a lot of other interests that I really enjoy that help me through the winter time. Motorcycles are another thing, you know, and these are all things that I share with my kids, which are important to me. There's so many people that I've seen in this industry that pigeonhole their entire lives just to that type of flying. And that leaves a lot of people in your life out of passions in your life. And that's why I think it's important to be well-rounded with that. There's no way you can share flight. My son's been flying on my lap since he was a little guy. If my son had the love for it, which he definitely shows symptoms of being hooked, then you gotta support that path for people. But that goes for everything. I'd be very proud, very proud, but always scared. I'm really happy that we have other passions and things that we like to do that still give me that sense of achievement. This is all cool, but none of it would ever replace the love that I have for my wife and my children. It's just they're all a privilege to be able to fly. Being a pilot is just something that if you are a pilot, you just need to fly. If you have that passion, it just needs to be fulfilled. I do it because I love it. I do it because it gives me a sense of satisfaction and happiness and I think a chemical release in my body that always puts a smile on my face. I enjoy the challenge of it. I enjoy when things just go right. It's a lot of fun. I've had things go wrong, those are probably the most rewarding experiences was handling it appropriately. And that's a pretty, pretty neat feeling. 